Hello everyone, how are you? Today our lesson is about count back by tens. Count back by tens. We already know the number line and we know what does count back mean and count forward mean. Count back is usually used for subtracting. Let's have a look here for the kid. The kid here is jumping from 70, 1, 2, and 3 jumps. He jumped from 70 to 40. That means 70 minus 30 equals 40. Actually, here on this number line, we are jumping by tens. So I'm jumping backward 10, 10, 10. Can you see? Have a look here 0, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, and 100. If we go back 100, 90, 80, 70, 60, 50, 40, 30, 20, 10, and 0. Let's flip the page. This page on your book is page 400. Four hundred ninety-two. So please open it with me. I have different numbers on my book. Let's get started. Use the number line to subtract. Show your work. Write the difference. Let's start. First thing we should do, we should put a circle around 80, the first number. We put a circle around the first number. And then we put a circle on the number line also. That's great. We put a line under the number of jumps. How many jumps I should jump? Three jumps. So let's jump three jumps. We are moving 30, so let's move back 30. 10, 20, 30. Can you see? We started with 80, we jumped three jumps, we jumped until we reached 30. So, 1, 10, 2, 10, and 3 tenths, or 10, 20, 30. What number is here now? We have 50. So, the answer is 50. What did we do? Actually, we are moving, jumping backward. Do you remember when we were in term one or term two in school and it was like this eight minus three equals what the number lines was without zeros and i told you let's put a circle around the eight and let's jump three jumps back one two three and the answer was five it is exactly the same but with different numbers so don't be worried it's very easy so let's do question number two 50 minus 20 this is 50 we have to jump 20 20 means 2 because 2 tenths let's jump back 1 to 10 20. What is the answer? 30. How about here? How about here? 40 minus 20. This is my 40. How many jumps? Two jumps. 40. I will jump two jumps, so that means 10 20 
So what is the answer? 20. How about question number four? Question number four is 60 minus 20. So 60, where is my 60? There's 60. How many jumps? Two jumps. So let's jump back. One, two jumps. What is the answer? 40. That's good. How about this one? 80. 80. This is 80. How many jumps? 7 jumps or 17. Uh, sorry, 70. Let's jump 70. 1 10, 2 10, 3 10, 4 10, 5 10, 6 10, and 7 10. Or let's count in another way. 7 jumps. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 jumps. Or let's say. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70. As you wish, as long as you are finding the correct answer. So what is the answer here? 10, that's great. Question number six, you will do and you will show me. How about question number seven? 90 minus four. Have a look here, it's really easy. Let's start with ones. Zero minus zero equals what? Equals zero. Nine minus four equals what? Equals five. And here is the answer. Can you see how much easy it is? Have a look here. 50 minus 20. Zero minus zero is zero. Five minus two. Yes, count back. Five in our mind and we will count back two. So five, four, three. So the answer is 30. How about question number nine? Zero minus zero is zero. Seven minus five is two. So the answer is 20. Now, other question is your responsibilities. I want to see your answers about these questions. Let's flip the page. Let me check if I have the same problems. Yeah, the same problem. That's great. So let's start here. Question 16. A toy store has 40 teddy bears. The store sells 30 of them. How many teddy bears does the store have left? We used the the store used to have 40 teddy bears. But a lot of people love teddy bears, so they bought 30 of them. How many teddy bears is left? 40 minus 30 equals what? Equals what? Let's start with the ones. Let's start with subtracting the ones. 0 minus 0 equals what? Zero. Let's start subtracting the tens now. Let's start subtracting the ten. Four minus three. Four tens minus three tens equals what? Equals one ten. Excellent. So how many teddy bears? Ten teddy bears. That's great. Now for question number seven, it's your classwork. Have a nice day, my dear kids. See you later. Bye-bye.